Yo, 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 guys, welcome back in today. Today, we're going to be talking about Ernest Frederick Morrison. Ernest Frederick Morrison is known as the first black child movie star to sign a long term contract. Ernest is most famous for starring in the Little Rascals series and Our Gang. Ernest was born in Louisiana, New Orleans on December 20th, 1912. He was also a young dancer and comedian who performed under the stage name Sunshine Sammy. He was the oldest child of Joseph Morrison, who was an actor and grocer. Ernest was the brother to actress Dorothy Morrison and Florence Morrison. Ernest would get his first big break by filling in for another baby on a movie set. His father would make this possible. His father would have a friend who worked in the industry. His father's friend would ask him to bring his son to the studio. The original actor baby would not stop crying, so Ernest would take his spot. This is where he would acquire the name Sunshine from the crew because he did not cry and was easy to work with. He would go on to use the names like Sambo, Ernie, Sunshine Sambo, Sammy, and Sunshine Sammy, which was given by his father. The Soul of a Child would be Ernest's first movie debut in 1916. He would appear in silent films from 1917 to 1922. Ernest would appear alongside popular child star of the silent era, Baby Maria Osborne. These films would be produced in New York City by Harold Lloyd. Ernest would be the first African-American actor to be signed to a long-term contract. Hal Roach, who was a comedian film producer, would sign Ernest. For one year, in 1921, Hal would create a series called The Sunshine Sammy Series, which was made just for Ernest. One episode of the show would only ever be aired. How would recreate this show idea in a new series called Our Gang. This show would film kids in their natural child state and activities. How Roach's Rascals and Our Gang would see Ernest playing Booker T. Bacon. His debut would be in the short series called One Terrible Day in 1922. Ernest would be paid $10,000 a year making him the highest paid black actor in Hollywood at the time. He would stay on the show for two years till 1924, filming 28 episodes and ending at the age of 12. Ernest would leave due to his dad wanting a weekly increase on his salary in 1925. At the age of 22, he would marry Annette Mekabe in 1934. She was a Harlem chorus girl, and they would divorce in 1936. Annette would later go on to tell the press that she still loved Ernest, but Ernest's dad did not like her from the start. She states that his dad and him argued, and this was due to his dad thinking his wife was taking him away from acting. This would lead to Ernest dropping his dad as his manager. Ernest's mother did get along with Annette, though. Annette and Ernest's mom would write letters back and forth, but never met. For the next couple of years, Ernest would perform on the Vaudeville shows, which was a mix of entertainment such as comedians and dancers. He would also act across seas in Australia, and in 1940, he would return to the big screen. He would be casted in a series called Eastside Kids in Los Angeles. He would play the character named Scruno, which his time in New York City helped mold this character. In 1943, he would perform with the Four Step Brothers dance group. In 1944, Ernest was drafted into the U.S. Army during World War II. During this time, he would perform comedy dancing, and singing for the troops. Once discharged in 1945, he would be offered more parts in the series The Bowery Boys, 
but he declined. He would go on to accept a job as a quality control inspector for an aerospace company in Compton, California. He would work there for 17 years and then he retired. In the 1970s, he would appear in the episodes of classic black shows such as Good Times and The Jeffersons. Ernest, over his life, would appear in 145 motion pictures. He would be inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1987. At the age of 76, on July 24, 1989, he would pass away from cancer in Linwood, California. So you guys, today we learned about Ernest Frederick Morrison. Please like and subscribe, turn on the bell notification down there so you get all my videos. Add me on all social medias, which is Africa Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. Each one teach one. Always love each other. Always learn from each other. And yo guys, until next time, peace. One love.